probably learned about infrared light when you studied wavelengths in science class. You also might have heard of infrared radiation or infrared technology just from casual tidbits on TV commercials or in magazines. But to be honest, you've either forgotten or never really understood the science behind wavelengths and light spectrums. So you pretty much draw a blank when you try to figure out what infrared heaters do. You might remember that infrared light isn't visible because it's beyond the spectrum we can see. That's the gist of an infrared heater. The heat is a product of light that is invisible to our eyes. The reason we get warm from an infrared heater is because our skin and clothes absorb the light. It's like the difference between being directly in the sunlight versus sitting in the shade. You feel warm in the sun because the light that hits your clothes and skin keeps you warm. But when you're in the shade, the light doesn't reach you as well. There are several kinds of infrared heaters. Some might direct their infrared light straight into a room or space to create heat on the object it reaches. Other infrared heaters contain three parts that create heat. Infrared light bulbs, a heat exchanger, such as a good metal conductor like copper, and a fan that blows air onto the exchanger to create the heat. Infrared heaters also differ in fuel source and construction material. There are propane, natural gas, and electric heaters. Some are ceramic, and there are also portable ones. Are infrared heaters green? It's tough to heat your house and stay green by trying to cause minimal harm to your surroundings. There's not one method of keeping warm that doesn't affect the natural world around you. You could even claim that simply bundling up in layers and layers of clothing would still have an effect on the environment if those clothes were made in a factory. That being said, you can't claim that infrared heaters have no effect on the outside world. It really depends on what kind of infrared heater you use. Remember how all the heaters use a different source of fuel? You can debate which is greener by asking, is it better to use electricity or natural gas? When you're considering how green infrared heaters are, be sure to keep in mind the power source of any particular model. There are other factors that determine the greenness of infrared heaters. For instance, electric infrared heaters don't release harmful fumes into the air or contribute any emissions into the atmosphere. Electric infrared heaters also don't rely on fuel or gas lines, which is another green point. Some brands of infrared heaters claim their heaters don't take out oxygen or humidity from the air. The companies attest that their heaters make for easy breathing, oxygen-rich air while still creating heat. For more information on infrared heaters and reviews of the most popular brands, visit bestinfraredheatersreviews.com. All of our reviews feature real customer feedback.